The United States of America remains frontiers in many aspects. Discover the remarkable world of USA aircraft carriers as we explore the impressive fleet of carriers. These mighty vessels have played a pivotal role in naval operations and the making of history, from the iconic USS Nimitz to the cutting-edge USS Gerald R. Ford. Their immense size, advanced technologies, and capacity to carry many aircraft make them amazing machines of naval power. Let's take a look at 15 of America's iconic aircraft carriers. Number 15, USS Gerald R. Ford. The USS Gerald R. Ford, also known as the CVN-78, the lead ship in its class of American Navy aircraft carriers, is a remarkable tribute to the 38th President of the United States, Gerald Ford. President Ford's military service during World War II, where he saw combat aboard the light aircraft carrier Monterey, inspired the ship's name. The USS Gerald R. Ford assumed the mantle of the decommissioned USS Enterprise, which had served for an impressive 51 years before retiring in December 2012. Commissioned on July 2017, the USS Gerald R. Ford is the most technologically advanced warship ever built and serves as the flagship of its class. It is the first of 10 new aircraft carriers, heralding a new era of advanced naval technology, with the second ship of the class, John F. Kennedy, tagged the CVN-179, scheduled to enter service in 2025. The USS Gerald R. Ford has been the largest aircraft carrier in the world since 2017 and boasts the highest displacement of any warship ever constructed. Impressively, the USS Gerald R. Ford outperforms its predecessors, the Nimitz class, in terms of capabilities. Spanning an impressive 338 meters in length and accommodating a crew of 4,500 personnel, the carrier has ample space to house over 75 aircraft on its expansive 78-meter wide flight deck. Among these aircraft are the formidable F-35, the versatile F-A-18 Super Hornet, and the reliable MH-60R helicopters. It features an electromagnetic aircraft launch mechanism and cutting-edge arresting gear, allowing quick and efficient takeoff and landing operations. Being a nuclear-powered vessel, the USS Gerald R. Ford features an array of advanced weaponry and defensive systems. It is equipped with M2 machine guns, RIM-7C Sparrow surface-to-air missiles, and RIM-160 surface-to-air missiles, ensuring robust protection. The carrier also incorporates an island structure taller and shorter than the Nimitz class, and SPY-3, and an SPY-4 active electronically scanned array multifunction radars. The strategic positioning of the island further enhances operational capabilities. One of the most remarkable advancements on the USS Gerald R. Ford is the implementation of the electromagnetic aircraft launch system, replacing conventional steam catapults. This innovative technology eliminates the need for steam production and storage, increasing efficiency and significant space savings below deck. With electromagnetic aircraft launch system, the carrier can launch 25% more aircraft per day compared to the Nimitz-class carriers, all while requiring 25% fewer crew members. These advancements translate to an estimated $4 billion in cost savings over the ship's 50-year lifespan. Number 14. USS George H.W. Bush The USS George H.W. Bush, the 10th and final Nimitz-class supercarrier of the U.S. Navy, is a remarkable vessel that pays tribute to the esteemed legacy of its namesake. Bearing the name of the 41st President of the United States and former naval aviator George H.W. Bush, it symbolizes honor and valor. The ship's call sign, Avenger, is a fitting homage to the TBM Avenger aircraft that George H.W. Bush's father, then a lieutenant, flew during World War II. The USS George H.W. Bush was a monumental undertaking constructed at the Northrop Grumman Newport News shipyard. The ship was completed in 2009 for $6.2 billion and found its home port at Naval Station Norfolk in Virginia. Innovative advancements were incorporated throughout its construction to enhance its performance and efficiency. Noteworthy features include a cutting-edge underwater hull coating system, deck coverings that reduce ship weight by 100 tons, and low solar absorptive and anti-stain paint. The hangar bay is designed to be less cluttered, and a new propeller design contributes to improved hull efficiency. The bulbous bow, located at the forward end of the ship, adds buoyancy and further enhances hull performance.
The modified island of George H.W. Bush boasts several upgrades. Reinforced windows, an enclosed radar tower to reduce radar signature, and updates to the navigation and communication systems are among the notable enhancements. The island has been resized and repositioned to optimize flight deck access, reduce signatures, and minimize electronic self-interference. Regarding air operations, the USS George H.W. Bush incorporates various modern design features. These include upgraded aircraft launch and recovery equipment, redesigned jet blast deflectors, an enhanced aviation fuel storage and distribution system, and semi-automated refueling and servicing capabilities at new deck locations. These improvements facilitate faster and more efficient aircraft pit stops, ensuring seamless operations. The USS George H.W. Bush has a proud operational history, actively participating in effective military campaigns. It played a crucial role in Operation Enduring Freedom in Iraq and was among the first aircraft carriers to launch airstrikes against ISIS in 2014. The ship's contributions underscore its importance as a formidable force in maintaining global security. Number 13. USS Ronald Reagan the USS Ronald Reagan, tagged CVN-76, is a nuclear-powered supercarrier from the esteemed Nimitz class. It pays tribute to the esteemed Ronald W. Reagan, the 40th President of the United States, and bears his name as the eighth carrier of its extraordinary class. Notably, it is the first ship to be christened with the name of a living former president, a testament to Reagan's profound impact on American history. On May 2012, the USS Ronald Reagan was under the administrative command of Commander, Naval Air Forces Pacific slash Commander, Naval Air Forces, while operating as a valued Carrier Strike Group 9 member. This unique dual role showcases the ship's versatility and strategic importance within the fleet. Emphasizing its remarkable operational achievements, the USS Ronald Reagan assumed the role of Carrier Strike Group 5's flagship on October 2015. As a vital component of the esteemed U.S. 7th Fleet, this group is the sole forward-based carrier strike group, calling Yokosuka, Japan, its home port. Embarking on a momentous nine-month deployment on February 2011, the ship's journey took an unexpected turn when redirected to Japan following the devastating 2011 Tohoku earthquake and tsunami. While initially destined for a planned exercise in the Korean Peninsula region, the USS Ronald Reagan swiftly altered its course to provide critical support in the face of tragedy. Positioned off the coast of Sendai, the ship played a pivotal role as a refueling station for military and Coast Guard helicopters engaged in life-saving relief operations in Japan. Moreover, U.S. Navy helicopters launched from the carrier to facilitate vital relief flights, demonstrating the ship's adaptability and readiness to aid those in need. Since its deployment in Japan, the USS Ronald Reagan has actively participated in various exercises in the Asia region, strengthening crucial alliances and bolstering regional security. Joint operations with nations such as Australia, India, Japan, and South Korea have further enhanced its operational capabilities. Additionally, the ship has effectively contributed to air policing operations, asserting its presence and safeguarding regional stability. Number 12. USS Harry S. Truman. The USS Harry S. Truman, the eighth magnificent Nimitz-class aircraft carrier of the U.S. Navy, carries the name of Harry S. Truman, the esteemed 33rd President of the United States. Affectionately known as the Lone Warrior, this extraordinary vessel is stationed at Naval Station Norfolk in Virginia. Setting sail on its maiden voyage into service on July 25, 1998, under the skilled command of Captain Thomas O. Sabine, the USS Harry S. Truman holds a remarkable origin story. It was gracefully launched into the waters of Newport News, Virginia, on September 7, 1996, an occasion graced with distinguished guests, including former President Bill Clinton, who delivered a captivating keynote speech during the commissioning ceremony. Initially assuming the prestigious role of the flagship of Carrier Group 2, the USS Harry S. Truman later transitioned to the flagship of Carrier Strike Group 10. Throughout its illustrious career, this formidable carrier has participated in many vital operations that have shaped history. 
These include the likes of Operation Inherent Resolve, Operation Med Shark Majestic Eagle, NATO Operation Med Shark Majestic Eagle, Operation Southern Watch, Operation Enduring Freedom in Afghanistan, and Operation Iraqi Freedom. Since June 2004, it has proudly flown the Carrier Strike Group 8 flag, exemplifying its pivotal role in safeguarding national security. Notably, the HST's valorous legacy extends beyond its participation in operations. Following its dedicated service in Operation Southern Watch, the vessel embarked on 1,300 missions during Operation Iraqi Freedom, showcasing its unwavering commitment to duty and the pursuit of peace. While the USS Theodore Roosevelt's Air Wing had previously set a record earlier that year, the Truman Carrier's Air Wing during its deployment surpassed all expectations by precisely delivering over 1,118 bombs on ISIS targets, solidifying its position as a true force to be reckoned with. Number 11. USS John C. Stennis The USS John C. Stennis, also known as the CVN-74, is the seventh vessel of the Nimitz-class carriers. It carries the name of Mississippi Senator John C. Stennis, paying homage to his distinguished service. With her commissioning date of December 9, 1995, she embarked on a mission to safeguard the nation's interests and currently calls Norfolk, Virginia her home port. However, an exciting chapter awaits her as she prepares for an overhaul and refueling complex with plans to return to Bremerton, Washington once the transformation is complete. When deployed forward, the USS John C. Stennis and her esteemed aviation wing, CVW-9, assume the critical responsibility of executing persistent combat aviation operations. A formidable fleet of eight to nine squadrons composed of Navy and Marine Corps aircraft, including the versatile F-A-18 Hornets, advanced EA-18G Growlers, agile MH-60R-S Seahawk helicopters, and vigilant E-2C Hawkeyes, form the dynamic air wing, showcasing the ship's formidable capabilities. Beyond its essential military role, the USS John C. Stennis has also made notable contributions to popular culture. It captivated the world's attention when it became the largest and most extravagant outdoor theater for the Disney movie Pearl Harbor Grand Premiere. Transforming its flight deck into a magnificent cinema with grandstand seating and an awe-inspiring screen, the ship hosted over 2,000 attendees. Beyond her heroic exploits, the USS John C. Stennis has also appeared on the silver screen, prominently featuring in the popular Transformers movie franchise. This unique blend of real-life heroism and on-screen allure further cements the ship's iconic status. Number 10. USS George Washington The USS George Washington, or GW, or GW, is the sixth carrier of the renowned Nimitz class. It carries the name of George Washington, the nation's esteemed first president, becoming the fourth U.S. Navy ship to bear this illustrious name. On July 4, 1992, the USS George Washington was commissioned at Naval Station Norfolk, signifying its official entry into service. The USS George Washington has been involved in numerous pivotal operations. It played a crucial role in providing airspace defense in the Persian Gulf in the year 2000, ensuring the security and stability of the region. Following the tragic events of 9-11, the ship took on a vital mission, safeguarding New York Harbor during a time of great uncertainty and vulnerability. It actively participated in Operation Southern Watch and Operation Enduring Freedom, further solidifying its significance in maintaining global peace and security. In a groundbreaking move, the USS George Washington became the first nuclear-powered aircraft carrier to be deployed and forward deployed at Naval Base Yokosuka, Japan, in 2006. This marked a significant milestone, reinforcing the United States' enduring commitment to regional stability and partnership. The ship's unique propulsion system, consisting of four colossal 66,220 pounds, five bladed propellers, and two Westinghouse A4W nuclear reactors, empowers it to achieve speeds exceeding 30 knots. This great capability grants the USS George Washington a staggering range of over 3 million nautical miles, showcasing its remarkable reach and versatility. The USS George Washington has substantially impacted disaster relief efforts by embracing the Navy's humanitarian values. 
Following the devastating typhoon Haiyan in 2013, the ship played a vital role in providing much-needed assistance and aid to the affected regions in the Philippines. Furthermore, on October 2016, the USS George Washington joined forces with the USNS Comfort and USS Mesa Verde to extend a helping hand to Haiti in its recovery efforts after the destructive Hurricane Matthew. Number 9. USS Abraham Lincoln The USS Abraham Lincoln is a testament to the remarkable legacy of former U.S. President Abraham Lincoln, being only the second Navy ship to bear his respected name. As the fifth Nimitz-class aircraft carrier in the U.S. Navy, the USS Abraham Lincoln, nicknamed Abe, finds its home at the Naval Station Everett in Washington. Serving as the operational flagship of Carrier Strike Group 9 and Carrier Air Wing 2 until 2012, this magnificent vessel reports administratively to the commander of Naval Air Forces Atlantic, highlighting its crucial role in naval operations. Throughout its illustrious history, the USS Abraham Lincoln has been involved in numerous significant endeavors, showcasing its versatility and unwavering commitment to humanitarian efforts. One notable example was its deployment to assist U.S. forces on Luzon Island in the Philippines during the catastrophic eruption of Mount Pinatubo, where it played a vital role in evacuating 45 people, demonstrating its pivotal role in times of crisis. Moreover, the USS Abraham Lincoln holds a significant place in naval history as the first carrier to fully integrate female personnel, breaking barriers and ushering in a new era of inclusivity and equality. It conducted vital air patrols over Mogadishu and Somalia, underscoring its commitment to maintaining peace and stability in volatile regions. The carrier's involvement in Operation Iraqi Freedom further solidified its importance in U.S. military operations. Following the ship's successful return, President George W. Bush delivered a historic speech against a striking, mission-accomplished banner, marking a significant milestone in the nation's history. In recent times, the USS Abraham Lincoln has continued to make headlines, traversing the challenging waters of the Strait of Hormuz and playing a pivotal role in relief efforts following the devastating Japanese tsunami. After a lengthy overhaul and four years of refueling, Abraham Lincoln returned to active duty in 2017. Number 8. USS Theodore Roosevelt The USS Theodore Roosevelt, the fourth aircraft carrier in the Nimitz class, is a powerful tribute to the 26th President of the United States, Theodore Roosevelt. Notably, she is the fourth ship to proudly bear his name. Adding to its rich history, the USS Theodore Roosevelt boasts the distinctive radio call sign Rough Rider, which holds a special significance as it honors the courageous volunteer cavalry troop that President Roosevelt himself led during the Spanish-American War. Since her introduction in 1984, this remarkable carrier has been no stranger to action, with her debut combat engagement in 1991 during Operation Desert Storm. Remarkably, before the conclusion of hostilities during Operation Desert Storm on February 28, she had conducted over 4,200 sorties, more than any other carrier, and dropped an astounding 4.8 million pounds of bombs, solidifying her role as an instrumental force in the war. Throughout its illustrious career, the carrier played an integral role in numerous conflicts and operations, including airstrikes in Kosovo, Operation Enduring Freedom, and Iraqi Freedom. Enforcing no-fly zones over Bosnia and Iraq was also part of its formidable duties. Embracing innovation, Theodore Roosevelt was a testing ground for Boeing's X-47B, an advanced unmanned aerial vehicle, UAV, designed for carrier-based operations. Furthermore, in 2015, the carrier was deployed to the Arabian Sea to intercept and prevent the entry of weapons supplies into Yemen, highlighting its vital role in safeguarding regional security. Number 7. USS Carl Vinson The USS Carl Vinson, a revered aircraft carrier in the U.S. Navy, proudly bears the name of a remarkable Georgian congressman who played a pivotal role during World War II and later spearheaded the consolidation of the Navy and War Departments into the singular Department of Defense. This illustrious ship has acquired several affectionate monikers, including Starship Vinson, Battlestar, the Gold Eagle, and even America's favorite carrier, reflecting the deep admiration it has garnered throughout its distinguished service. Launched in 1980, 
the Carl Vinson embarked on its maiden voyage in 1983, and from 2005 to 2009, it underwent a significant refueling and overhaul process to ensure its continued operational excellence. The carrier has played a pivotal role in significant historical events, including the solemn responsibility of burying Osama bin Laden at sea, an operation that underscored the ship's pivotal role in national security efforts. Furthermore, the USS Carl Vinson showcased its versatility by becoming the extraordinary stage for the NCAA basketball game between North Carolina and Michigan State University in 2011. Captivating audiences as the iconic carrier hosted this unique sporting event, blending athletic prowess with maritime grandeur. In 2014, the USS Carl Vinson responded to the pressing conflict with ISIS in the Persian Gulf, showcasing its unwavering commitment to global security. During its deployment, the ship's formidable aircraft executed an astonishing 12,300 sorties, with 2,382 directly engaged in combat operations. San Diego, California, specifically Naval Air Station North Island, is the proud home port for the USS Carl Vinson. Number 6. USS Dwight D. Eisenhower The USS Dwight D. Eisenhower, known fondly as Ike, is a nuclear-powered aircraft carrier currently serving in the prestigious ranks of the U.S. Navy. Carrying the name of Dwight D. Eisenhower for the first time, this illustrious ship was commissioned in 1977 and proudly recognized as the second vessel among the Nimitz-class aircraft carriers. The USS Dwight D. Eisenhower was constructed at the renowned Newport News Shipbuilding Company in Virginia. Since its commissioning, Dwight D. Eisenhower has embarked on numerous deployments, participating in historically significant operations that underscore its pivotal role in shaping world events. Notably, the ship played a vital role in Operation Eagle Claw during the Iran hostage crisis in 1980, displaying its unwavering commitment to safeguarding American interests and promoting global stability. Additionally, it made notable contributions during the Gulf War in the 1990s, showcasing its formidable capabilities on the international stage. More recently, the USS Dwight D. Eisenhower has lent crucial support to U.S. military operations in Iraq and Afghanistan, further solidifying its status as a critical asset in defending freedom and combating threats to global security. To ensure it remains at the forefront of technological advancements, the ship has undergone two comprehensive overhauls, bringing it up to par with the standards of more contemporary carriers. It proudly traversed the Suez Canal to enter the Red Sea, marking its presence in critical regions and underscoring its ability to project power across vast distances. A significant milestone occurred during Desert Storm when aircraft from Eisenhower dropped weapons for the first time, demonstrating the carrier's combat readiness and its pivotal role in shaping the outcome of conflicts. In recent years, the ship's aircraft played a crucial role in the campaign against ISIS, unleashing the full force of nearly a thousand hundred bombs on various ISIS sites in Iraq and Syria, making a resounding impact in the fight against terrorism. As its home port, the USS Dwight D. Eisenhower proudly resides at Virginia's esteemed naval station Norfolk, serving as the anchor for its formidable presence. Number 5. USS Nimitz The USS Nimitz, nicknamed Old Salt, is a nuclear-powered aircraft carrier presently serving in the U.S. Navy and is a tribute to the esteemed Fleet Admiral Chester W. Nimitz. As the class's lead ship, it carries the name of the only surviving U.S. Navy commander to hold the United States Pacific Fleet Commander rank during World War II. This colossal warship stretches an impressive 332 meters long, boasting a displacement of 100,000 tons. The USS Nimitz possesses remarkable capabilities, with a top speed of 30 knots. It can accommodate a formidable fleet of 82 aircraft and houses a dedicated crew of 6,000 individuals. Among its remarkable aircraft are the versatile S-3B Vikings, E-2C Hawkeyes, SH-60F helicopters, and Agile F-A-18 Hornets, showcasing its diverse air power. Ensuring cutting-edge military technologies fortify its formidable defense, the USS Nimitz. It is equipped with NATO Sea Sparrow missiles, boasting an impressive 14.5 kilometers range. 
The carrier is also armed with short-range anti-ship and sea-skimming missiles and other state-of-the-art defensive systems, guaranteeing its security in the face of potential threats. One of the distinguishing features of the Nimitz-class carriers is their utilization of A4W pressurized water reactors, a stark departure from the gas turbine or diesel-electric systems found on many modern warships. These reactors power four propeller shafts, delivering a remarkable maximum speed of approximately 30 knots and a staggering maximum power of around 260,000 shaft horsepower. Incorporating nuclear power ensures that the USS Nimitz can operate continuously for over 20 years without refueling, granting it extraordinary endurance. With such advanced technology, it is anticipated that the USS Nimitz will enjoy a service life exceeding 50 years. An intriguing fact is that the Nimitz-class aircraft carriers have a remarkable lifespan of approximately 50 years, with the USS Nimitz itself being the oldest U.S. aircraft carrier still in active service. Now it's time for our subscribers' pick of the day. What do we have here? We've stumbled upon a true marvel. Feast your eyes on this sleek and menacing aircraft carrier straight out of a sci-fi blockbuster. The dark, commanding presence of this beast screams fierce and cool, don't you think? It's like a superhero's secret hideout on water. Just imagine being part of the force and working with these cutting-edge monsters. Talk about living the dream. This futuristic design is not your run-of-the-mill aircraft carrier. Oh no, it's a whole new level of awesomeness and functionality combined. We're talking about the pinnacle of naval innovation right here. Now, I'm dying to know if any of you have encountered this extraordinary creation or have any juicy details about its capabilities. Maybe you've seen it in action or have insider knowledge that'll blow our minds. Don't keep us in suspense. Share your insights in the comment section below and let's unravel the secrets of this magnificent floating fortress together. Number 4. USS America Introducing the USS America, the first amphibious ship on our list. This formidable aircraft carrier proudly serves in the esteemed U.S. Navy, marking the inception of the impressive America class. With an astonishing displacement of 45,000 tons, it comes as no surprise that she has been bestowed the honor of being the flagship vessel for the United States Amphibious Group. When the stakes are high, the USS America stands ready to accommodate the brave men and women aboard and a staggering array of resources. Uniquely designed to cater to helicopters and fighters equipped with vertical and short takeoff and landing capabilities, the USS America holds the key to overwhelming superiority on enemy shores. Her adversaries would be wise to retreat as she emerges on the horizon, for she brings a formidable Marine Expeditionary Unit. This elite unit comprises fearsome helicopter gunships, V-22 Osprey tilt rotor aircraft, and the lightning-fast, lethal F-35B Lightning II. Combining amphibious prowess with sleek maneuverability, the USS America glides effortlessly across the aquatic battlefield, earning her the revered title of lightning carrier within the U.S. Navy. In times of conflict, the America class proves invaluable, assuming the role of an ad hoc carrier when the Nimitz class is deployed elsewhere or already present in a theater of operations. This synergy allows up to 20 additional fighter jets to augment the 44 already embarked on the supercarrier. Moreover, should the America-class carrier find itself stationed near the coastline, the enemy faces the daunting prospect of defending against a relentless amphibious assault, necessitating their simultaneous preparation for multiple threats. However, it is essential to acknowledge that these lightning carriers, despite their extraordinary capabilities, do possess some limitations. Due to their comparatively smaller size, America-class carriers have a reduced capacity to store ammunition and fuel during wartime. Nevertheless, the U.S. Navy employs a strategic approach, relying on a formidable offense as the ultimate defense. That is precisely why the USS America accommodates an awe-inspiring array of the world's most advanced and powerful military aircraft, ensuring an unparalleled force projection capability. Number 3. USS San Antonio The San Antonio class, known as the Landing Platform Dock, represents an impressive fleet of amphibious transport docks serving the United States Navy. These magnificent vessels weigh an impressive 25,300 tons and stretch across 208.4 meters. 
With their state-of-the-art integrated ship self-defense system, they offer unparalleled survivability and cutting-edge computer technology. To further ensure the crew's safety, the class incorporates the formidable rolling airframe missile system for defending against air threats. Their innovative design makes these ships remarkable, incorporating radar signature reduction techniques that significantly reduce their radar cross-section, rendering them elusive and challenging to locate. When it comes to firepower, the San Antonio class doesn't disappoint. These vessels possess formidable defensive capabilities with two MK-46 30mm gun weapon systems, two ram launchers, and an impressive arsenal of 10 50 caliber machine guns. Number 2. USS Midway Soon after the conclusion of the Pacific War in 1945, the USS Midway was called into action. The Midway stood as a formidable force on the seas, boasting a massive displacement of 45,000 tons, an astounding top speed of 33 knots, and the capacity to accommodate nearly 100 aircraft. Alongside her sister ships, which played pivotal roles in the Pacific War, the Midway heralded a new era of naval aviation, showcasing significant advancements over the earlier Essex-class carriers. Unquestionably, the Midway lived up to its stellar reputation. Upon commissioning, it swiftly surpassed the offensive capabilities of its predecessors, the Essex carriers, solidifying its position as the world's most formidable aircraft carrier. The introduction of jet aircraft, exemplified by the impressive A-2 Savage carrier-based bomber, further widened the gap in its dominance. The Midway and its sister ships were uniquely distinguished as the sole carriers capable of deploying nuclear weapons, placing them in an extraordinary league. But their story didn't end there. The Midway underwent numerous transformations throughout its illustrious career, including adding an inclined flight deck. While it did not engage directly in the Korean War, it played a crucial role and continued its service even as larger supercarriers took the stage. The Midway, with its smaller size and enhanced maneuverability, proved to be the preferred workhorse during the Gulf War of 1990. Witnessing the remarkable evolution of naval aviation, from the formidable F-6F Hellcat to the cutting-edge F-A-18 Hornet, the Midway bid farewell to the Navy in 1992, encapsulating the remarkable journey of naval aviation. Number 1. USS Enterprise CV-6 Claiming the top spot on our list is none other than the illustrious USS Enterprise CV-6. This extraordinary vessel, the seventh to bear the revered name, held the distinguished title of the United States Navy's sixth aircraft carrier. As one of the three carriers launched before the onset of World War II, she joined the fleet in 1936 as a proud member of the esteemed Yorktown class. However, her remarkable combat record surpassing that of her Pacific counterparts, sets this particular USS Enterprise apart. Standing alone as the sole manned carrier during the attack on Pearl Harbor, she displayed unparalleled resilience in the face of adversity. Her courageous actions extended to pivotal battles such as Midway, the Eastern Solomon Islands, the Santa Cruz Islands, and numerous other engagements that shaped the war's course. Without a doubt, the USS Enterprise brims with captivating stories from those perilous years, earning a remarkable 20 battle stars and securing her place as the most decorated American warship of World War II. Yet it is the exceptional feats achieved by the USS Enterprise that truly set her apart. As the first American vessel to successfully sink an enemy warship, a momentous event transpiring at the close of 1941 when she targeted and destroyed the Japanese submarine 170, she etched her name in the annals of naval history. The USS Enterprise's indomitable spirit is exemplified by her unwavering determination, which enabled her to survive three near-catastrophic incidents that would have spelled doom for lesser vessels. Such resilience earned her the revered moniker the Grey Ghost among the Japanese, a testament to her enigmatic presence and unmatched tenacity. We hope you like these United States aircraft carriers. Have you seen or been on board one of these giants? What was it like? Tell us about them in the comments. Also, if you enjoyed this video, don't forget to like it, subscribe to the channel, and turn on notifications to always stay in touch.